kitchen hub for those who are new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell button so that you guys can get notified each time i post a video so secondly thank you thank you thank you so much for the amazing feedback you guys continue to give me especially this week um, on the mango chicken recipe i'm so 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 overwhelmed i'm grateful for all the support you guys continue to give me thus far so basically today we are going to be making fish fillet with some lemon butter and garlic sauce yeah so it's gonna be creamy ish and you know it's gonna be good so stay tuned for kitchen wednesday today ingredients we're going to be having some garlic paste breadcrumbs some cooking cream lemon what uh, juice sorry lemon juice turmeric black pepper salt garlic powder wheat flour some dissolved cornstarch one beaten egg and of course our fish fillet so we have our fish fillet over here and basically what i'm going to use uh, do using a knife this specific knife i'm going to slit like that so that the seasonings can go deep 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 inside the reason why i'm using a butter knife is because um i don't want to our knives are very sharp so if i slit like this it will go through the outside making my fillet break so i'd rather use the butter knife so i'm just going to slit that nicely as i'm doing and then next, I'm going to season my fish with some black pepper on the sides, both sides. going to add in some salt especially onto those lines because that is the place where we want our fish to get the most uh, seasonings like we want that seasoning to penetrate and then my garlic no the reason why i didn't tell you measurements for the garlic or rather i never measure garlic so you can put as much garlic as you want i'm such a huge fan of garlic so garlic is one of the spices that i actually don't bother to measure so we're going to repeat also for this going to stir for about 30 seconds I wouldn't mind being torn apart Cause I want to be a part of a simple life I wouldn't mind being torn apart Cause I want to be a part of a simple life I wouldn't mind being torn apart Cause I want to be a part of a simple life I wouldn't mind being torn apart I want to be a part of a simple life, yeah. Even if thought your maker born, you still capture my head. So my turmeric has mixed with my head. So you just need to place my fish here. And then using this spoon, I'm going to coat it with the spoon. Yeah. 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 So after 
us. My dish is coated very well. So next up, I'm going to take my turmeric egg. For me, is I up in the sky, Nikki Ruka, South Africa, like in the way one who you might have soon. I love you, my woman. I love your cupenda. I wouldn't mind torn apart because I want to be a part of a simple life. I wouldn't mind being torn apart because I want to be a part of a simple life. I wouldn't mind being torn apart because I want to be a part of a simple life. I wouldn't mind being torn apart. Capture my heart. I love it when you dress up and compliment it with a heart. Your super shoes, your knee size, got your beautifully flowered shirt. Remember what you okay. really And I'm going to repeat. Second place. So my fillet is going to cook for 5 minutes on the other side and another 5 on the lower. So after 10 minutes on the upper, sorry. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to show you guys what's next. So our fish is finally ready. So I'm just going to slowly place it onto my saucer. This broke at some point, so I need to do that gently. It's already broken, so it's essentially going to have three pieces. And then I forgot to film that we needed butter, but it's going to be on my description box. So you're going to have like about a tablespoon of butter. Um, things are hard. So about that amount of butter. Then you're slowly going to um, let this melt. As you can see, I'm using the same pan because I do not want to lose any flavor that this pan has. So our butter is slowly melting. So 
that took about like about 10 seconds sorry 30 seconds to melt so yeah once it's finally melted we are going to add in our garlic paste So we've cooked the garlic and the lemon for about one minute or two. Next up, I'm adding in my cooking cream. And also my dissolved cornstarch with yeah, my dissolved cornstarch. So I'm going to add them both together. And then I'm just going to stir it gently. And then wait for it to simmer. And then I'll show you guys the last part, which is basically just dipping the fish into our beautiful sauce so our sauce is simmering nicely as you can see and it smells really good in here so slowly I'm going to take my pieces of fish and I'm going to just dip them inside like that and I'm going to turn them so that it immediately shakes the sauce on this cook for the sauce to penetrate through the fish really nice tell you guys it smells so good in here I won't believe it and I'm liking the way the cream is forming cuddles are they called cuddles or cards whatever yeah but I love it I love it I love it so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this for about five minutes. I'm going to cover it and then I'll see you guys after five minutes. So five minutes are done. We already uncovered it. So we're going to now garnish. Parsley, whatever you have. Cilantro, celery, whatever. You can always garnish with your garnish of choice. Up to the 